What do you reckon then, mate? Is the game going to go ahead? <sighs> I couldn't tell you. It doesn't look good at the minute, does it? But um, it'll be interesting. I mean, people's safety is more important than than uh, than the actual game going ahead. So we we'll wait and see what they what they come back with, what they say. I mean, something we're asking everyone: What do you make of what's happening? Because obviously there was trouble in Liverpool last night as well. Yeah, I mean. I'm not really going to be uh, getting involved in that, but um, you know, people know they shouldn't be. I don't think whatever's gone on, they should be rioting in the streets to the to the way they are. But uh, you know, it's happening now, and it's about uh, making the streets safe again for people. Looking at the football, what do you see as the aims for the season for Everton? Certainly, to start the season, you know, uh, start it well. For the last couple of seasons, we've we've been slow starters, and I think our main aim now is to. Uh, to get out the blocks quick. Why do you think that's been the case? Why have you started seasons so slow? I have no idea. If I did, <laughs> I'd probably get a lot of money for it. Um, but you know, we've we've been slow starters, and it's um, it's made the season extra difficult for us once we got going. Uh, but hopefully now we can, um, you know, find a way to to get ourselves out the box quickly and and pick up points and you know get ourselves confident. Does a lack of signings hinder that as well? Do you see that as a problem? I don't think so. Um, you know, it, it's I've heard it been made as an excuse in the past, which you know it, it can be. It's it's nice to get new faces into the into the squad, but you know ultimately only eleven people can go out there on the pitch, and I think we've got a squad of eighteen, nineteen people. So you know we've we've certainly got enough players to be getting out there and playing football and and finding a way of winning. What did you make of the fans voicing their concerns against the board at the moment as well, the lack of investment so far this summer? Um, that's not for me to to get involved in, you know. Um, you know, I'm a player to pay to play and and try and perform on the pitch, and you know the fans have their uh, their right to their opinion, and, and and they can do that. Does it affect you if the if the fans are protesting? No, not at all. Um, you know, we come to training and and do our jobs, train, go home, and and prepare for the match. Um, you know, we've we've got to be professional, and you know a lot of the well, most of us here are. So it's um, uh, it's not in our jobs to get distracted by things like that. How big a positive then is it as well that you've been able to keep the majority of the squad together once again? It's been together a fair few years now and you know, despite links with other teams, you big players are, are all still here. It's very good. Um, you know, I think if if we were obviously, you know, leaking players and um, losing lots of players then, you know, it would it would be alarming if we weren't bringing others in, but um, we've certainly not lost any players as yet, so um, players coming in has, has not been a problem. And there doesn't seem to be any kind of discontent either, does there? I mean, in the past we've heard players, once a club has come in for them, say that they want to go, but this hasn't been the case this season, has it? No, and it shows the character of the uh, the lads who've, who've been affected by these things, you know, have been uh, the subject of the transfer sagas, it, you know, the great character from them to uh, to not be affected by it and not, you know, for want of a better phrase, spit your dummy out over it and, and force a move, you know, they're happy where they are, they're, uh, the content at the club, and you know we're all pleased that they're they're happy about that.